So I feel like this is something that every single cosplayer has experienced. You wake up one morning and you think you've got three weeks to the convention and you're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta start working on this costume and you make up a list of everything that you need, all the things that you have to do and then you start looking at how many days you have left and you start realizing like, oh no. Oh no, like I, I don't know if I can do this. And you start panicking. You start running and you start buying everything from the craft store. And then you spend extra money because you don't have time to see if your coupons are good or not. So you're just like in and out, in and out. I gotta get this done. Staying up until three in the morning and then going to bed and then waking up at 6 a.m., going to work and then coming back home to do it all over again. You're like living off of three hours of sleep and a lot of caffeine. You're high strung. You Sometimes you feel like you're on the verge of a mental breakdown and you finish this costume. And then you're so tired and you're so stressed that you get to the convention and you don't enjoy yourself because all your body is telling you to do is to catch up on all that sleep you've missed. You leave the convention and you think to yourself, damn, that wasn't really all that good. I felt really bad the whole time. Why do I do this? It's called con crunching and it's inexplicably awful, it's stressful, and it's incredibly tiring. This past Monday, I woke up and I thought that I had three weeks to finish Bayonetta. I made a list of everything that I had to get done and I looked at a calendar to make sure that I was like on track to have her finished. And I realized I actually only had 10 days. So I started stressing out. I thankfully had everything bought, but I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, am I gonna get all this done? I've got so much to do. And then I, I had said before that I was gonna make a vlog for you guys. So I picked up my phone and I made the monstrosity that was uploaded on Monday. I actually kind of regret going through and making that vlog and uploading because that just, I wasn't in a good frame of mind. I was incredibly stressed and, and just really, really high strung. I was freaking out. And then I, I, I edited that video and I uploaded it and I watched it one more time after I uploaded it just to make sure that I didn't have to change anything, that all of my edits were totally fine, nothing was repeated. And I realized just how much of a mess I was. Like that wasn't cool, that wasn't good. I realized too, watching that back, that I wasn't having fun. Like I spend this money and I spend this time working on stuff to try and enjoy myself and that wasn't happening. And I kind of like sat and thought and I was like, so what am I doing? What, what What's my plan now? And I decided ultimately that as fun as Bayonetta would be for Kineticon, it's not worth the stress. And I feel like as cosplayers, there is such an emphasis on con crunch, con crunch culture, we'll call it. Where like Katsukon, for example, leading into Katsukon, all everybody that was going was talking about is Katsu Crunch. Oh, LOL, look at me, I'm so quirky. I didn't get everything done on time. So now I'm staying up extra late and spending all this extra time when I should be relaxing, preparing for a convention to finish this costume that might not even be done in time. And I feel like that whole idea, that whole concept of like finishing something within three weeks, within two weeks, within one week, within three days, leading into a convention, I feel like that's very toxic. In fact, going back to KatsuCon, the amount of people that I know personally, like my friends who ended up having a bad time because they spent the whole week leading up to KatsuCon working on one costume that they ended up maybe not even finishing a couple of them. Yeah, like a couple of them didn't even finish it. They, they just couldn't focus on the convention and they had a really bad time. And that's sad, you are spending so much money on these costumes, on this hotel, on your ticket to get to the convention, and then to have a bad weekend, like that breaks my heart. I feel it's incredibly important for us as cosplayers to recognize when we're not going to get something done in time for a convention, and then to take a step back and say, hey, that's okay. I've got other conventions that I wanna wear this to. I'll wait a little bit, I'll finish this after this convention, put more time and effort into it, make it an even better costume, and then I'll wear it another time. Taking a step back and looking at it like that really, really offers us the opportunity to, one, be a lot more objective about our work. We're not worrying about trying to get everything done super quick. Two, go back and fix anything that we did rush on. And three, it allows us to enjoy ourselves more. Like, yeah, it might suck that you're not in the the League of Legends photo shoot or the Boku no Hero Academia meetup, but like, is it worth it? I don't think so.
I guess that's really it. I don't know what else I'm gonna say. There wasn't like a whole lot of progress made this week with Bayonetta. I did do this shoulder thing. It's not totally done, but that's okay. I'm just gonna take it slow and make everything as, as nice as perfect as I want it. So this is a really weird video. Not as weird as Mondays. Mondays was was awful. And I'm so sorry to anybody who like laid their eyes on that. Well, I, the big thing is I hope that if you're stressing out over getting ready for convention, that this video speaks to you and it helps you take a step back and, and re regroup your thought. Whether or not you continue to try and crunch that costume, I, I hope you have a really good weekend at whatever convention you're going to. Um, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and that you'll like this video, maybe comment and tell me about your experience with Con Crunch. I should see you next week. Um, and if I don't see you next week, well, I hope that I'll see you maybe at like an upcoming convention, like Kineticon.